Hello, soul family. I <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this story that happened last night. So I was just bolted up around three between three and three thirty. I don't even I didn't even look at the clock, but I until later. Um, and I was like, "Ooh, okay, the energy's different. Uh, something's going on." And then I um, got up, went to the bathroom, came back, and I saw a bean outside the window. And as soon as I looked, it darted away. And it was probably one of the few times that it wasn't a shadowy figure. Like I saw the detail of this figure, um, this galactic beam. And so it darted away and I went, okay, don't recognize you, but that's fine. And then I, um, I laid back down and I'm laying there going, what is going on? This is super interesting. Like, this is just really interesting. And then I went, as I laid down, I went, okay, there's a ship. Yep. There's a ship here. And then I, um, I hear these odd noises just in my left ear and I'm going, well, the what is that? And I hear, we're fine tuning um, this ear. And my ears have been off the charts ringing the last two days, just super up and down, high, low pitch, the underwater sound, um, just really random uh, sounds, you know, in my ears, which is common, but I kind of ignore it. But the, the last two days, I had not been able to ignore it. So, um, and then I see a bean and a very clear uh, eyes. And he's in this pod thing, almost looks like an avocado. But I see it close, I see it from a distance really fast and then I zoom back in to him being in this pod and I could tell he's he's very neutral. He's not, um, he almost is like robotic. He just is in the pod. And so I said, well, what's what's that one doing? And they said, scouring, um, scouring the skies. That's what they said, scouring the skies. And I was all, okay, what's going on? And so I could tell like something had happened, but I, I was a part of it, but it wasn't for me or to me. So, um, you know, get up and, um, just a little bit ago and and uh uh talking to my friend and he uh proceeds to say that he had a very weird night and that he woke up around three o'clock and um that he had a terrible just he called it um terrifying um almost uh, the the fear and and not fear and but this feeling that just uh, you know around three o'clock in the morning and um that he couldn't go back to sleep and as he's talking to me I see um I see him I see him in the ship and he goes the odd thing was I remember I I remembered this statement that someone had made and he said it just like came to me out of the blue in the middle of the night that right now all the fish that served in the restaurants is all farmed raised salmon okay well pretty much everybody knows that now so it's your choice whether you're going to eat it or not or you know try to find fresh caught salmon you know from the ocean or the rivers so he <laughs> he said that he stayed up like a you know another hour because he was just like what was that feeling you know what was that so and and as he's talking I literally saw that they had taken him up and I I told him I said in no other way can I explain this but you were quote unquote like abducted because you went on the ship they did um this procedure not a surgery but a procedure on you and apparently the salmon that you ate the yesterday had a parasite in it 
and I said, you know, with your cancer, um, you know, it's, it was going to kill you. And I, and, and I said, this is so bizarre to me. I said, because I don't normally see like them intervening like this. I have heard of it. Um, but you have the cancer. So your experience is you're going to overcome the cancer. <laughs> That's your human experience. But the parasite was going to take you out. And so they intervened and they took the parasite out. And I said, I kid you not, like it looked like under a microscope, like a worm this long. And they were showing it to me and I, I was like, Bleh, you know, <laughs> mm, that was disgusting. Um, so then um, I, you know, I was explaining to him that this is what I was seeing. And I said, because you were not ready for the this to be done to you, it was a terrifying experience. But now you're aware and you've been, you know, it, wanting to experience some galactic being. So this whole, you know, um, discussion came afterwards about, you know, fear. And people say, well, I want to see, you know, galactic beings. Yet, to say that, it sounds really easy, but our, our, the images that we already have in our mind are all movie or TV-based images. And so you're thinking that you want to see them. In reality, if one were to show up in your presence, you know, there would still be fear. And so to overcome the fear, and that's what's the mind, you know, it's overcoming what the mind is trying to tell you. Um, and using discernment and, you know, feeling the energy and, you know, I've, I've, I've mentioned before, I, you know, the one time meeting the Draco and, you know, he showed up in my presence and I remember looking over at him going, aren't you supposed to be one of those bad ETs? <laughs> and, and he just looked over at me and I go, but your energy feels really good. So that doesn't make sense. And he goes, it's just like on, on planet earth, you have positive and negative energies and and he didn't just showed behind him he had an army and i'm like well that's good we got good draco you know et's an army of them um that are up there so i, I was like makes sense you know everything's positive negative it doesn't matter what side of that uh place that you land in the galaxy i should say <laughs> but it's all it's all got positive negative so uh, it was just interesting because I was there at the procedure, um, you know, ex with him. Um, and and I, I'm still even my myself going, it's just so interesting. You have cancer and you're fighting cancer. Not that you're going to die. People overcome cancer all the time. That's not it. But they took the parasite out because <laughs> you were going to die. So I said, I just, it just, it cracks me up, you know, how this all works. But I've never been around someone that was taken on a ship that wasn't wanting to go or knowing or preparing of course there is always knowing I say that all the time so this was part of his experience and journey so I, I just love it you know we just never know what's going to happen and we just got to be open and um you know wanting to see more and be not afraid and open so Anyway, that's the story of the night. So, <laughs> all right. Love y'all. Bye.